First up, just a couple of quick reminders. The gift cards for RP is back up on the Microsoft Rewards page, so you can claim them now if you've been waiting for these. There's also a new scanner emote called I'm Viable in the reroll pool now, so if you have all the emotes, you can reroll this one for free now with a shard. Now on to the main topic of the video, there's some sort of intentional or unintentional buff to summoner and event XP at the moment. Now this is for co-op versus AI modes, usually they give one or two points per minute minute and right now if you win a co-op game you get six points per minute so it's the same as the other modes and I tested this out on a bot mode so before I had 181 points on the infinite mission and then after I had 80 which means I got 99 points for a 16 and a half minute game and that works out to be six points per minute instead of two points per minute as what it should have been what this means is because in co-op modes you normally win all of them you'll be able to get six points per minute for every game so you can level up faster on both the event pass hub and also on your summoner level so this counts for the normal XP that you get for your account so it's kind of busted at the moment and because Riot haven't said anything about this it could be a buff but it could be a glitch I'm not too sure there were also some posts on reddit made about it so I'm sure Riot probably are aware or know of this already and as a reminder there is about three days left of the event so you've got a few more days left to farm the pass moving on skin spotlights has revealed some new emotes and icons they seem to be centered around the Imperian theme and also Lee Sin's rework. Most of these should be live in a couple of weeks when the Lee Sin rework goes live and the new MSI Imperian event. Moving on, Riot have made some more adjustments to ARAM and they've kind of gone back on their Zyra buffs where they removed the negative 20 ability haste while they've now gone back to negative 10. And there's a few other changes with buffs to Alawi, Leona, Nautilus, Zareth, Ziggs and nerfs to Vi's ability haste. And somebody made a Reddit post on why we got got so many void theme changes in season 14 but we didn't get a void event and right bright moon responds he says they weren't sure about how they would do it and he says given the response to this season void changes they may look at it in the future so again it's one of those things where they say we may do it in the future but there's no clear timeline or plan on what that looks like thanks for watching see you next time